4 Top Creepiest Abandoned Places in Americas One, Glendale Mill. I put Glendale Mill right next to the other mill because they're both worth the visit. These two mills are probably in the best shape out of all the abandoned mills and you'll get some nice scenery at Glendale, which rests alongside a little waterfall. The red brick has become worn and faded, but there's still something awe-inspiring about this mill's ability to stand the test of time. The good news is that it's easy to access and explore on the inside. 2. Cypress Gardens Ruins Cypress Gardens is easily one of the most popular ruins in America, and it was even featured in the American classic I, The Patriot. One of the must-have experiences in all of South Carolina is taking a canoe out by the gardens and paddling yourself out and around the old bridge and ruined structures. You'll get to be up close and personal with nature and you'll get to explore a long abandoned structure while you're at it. Just watch out for snakes and alligators, because they're definitely out there. Three, Newell Ghost Town. Newell is pretty much the only impressive ghost town in South Carolina that's still standing. It's kind of weird that everything was just left the way it was. With a little love, it seems like someone could move right back into some of the buildings. While here, you'll find a ton of abandoned houses and cars scattered throughout the wooded areas, which makes for hours of exploration. You won't find many abandoned places that are worth setting an entire day aside, but this is one of them. 4. The Abandoned Mansion of South Santee Good grief, this place is creepy. There's no way around the fact that we believe this place has something paranormal about it. The paint has all been faded out and the place is just reeks of earthly decay. Moss and other vegetation have crept up the sides of the house, but surprisingly some of the windows are still in place. This is one we definitely don't recommend exploring on the inside, so proceed at your own risk.